let's go back to the diagram to understand that so this is my message i drop the message in the receive extern folder when i drop the message it is consumed by the edi receive pipeline so what the edi receive pipeline does it rips off the headers converts it to xml and dumps it in the message box the message is just sitting there until a send port subscribes to it how does a send port subscribe to it in this case if you remember we had the send port subscribe to the message on the message box based on the filter so the message that is sitting in the message box has these properties automatically set on it so message that goes to the receive port will have this receive port name set on it so the message type is set on it so the send port uses these properties to subscribe to the right message so after the send port has picked up the message from the from the uh, message box because the port is using an edi send pipeline it converts the xml back to an edi message and sends it over to the location where it is supposed to send it to which in this case is a shared folder on the counter side now the message is sitting here on the counter side which has been transferred from fabrica but the message that is here is still not processed by the counter source the stock server setup and because it is not processed it has not generated any acknowledgments and whatever so if 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 you want to test this scenario what you can do is you can go back, go to counter source stock server setup and just disable the edi receive pipeline or the, just disable the receive location here which picks it up and you will see the message sitting here anyway so once the message is com comes here it is consumed by the edi receive pipeline which does the same here it it converts the message into an xml rips after it has ripped off the headers it also creates a 97 and ta1 because why did it get in the fabricam setup because in the fabricam setup when we created a party for contoso we did not check generate ta1 and generate 997 if you remember if you want to go back and see i can show it to you so i am on the fabricams setup i go to the receiver party and if you see here these two check boxes are cleared which means i am not uh, which means that the edi receive pipeline on fabricam side is not going to generate these and anyways you don't need it because contoso is not expecting any acknowledgments it's fabricam which is sending and expecting okay so let's go back to the scenario so it generates these xmls 997 ta1 and message xml and it's all sitting here in the message box again waiting for a send port to subscribe and pick so now these three send ports come to the picture if you remember we have these three send ports all had filter set on it based on the message type so the so the message xml is routed to this folder uh, is routed to this send port which uses the message type for the x12 message so these three send ports have filters set on them based on the message type so edi is this send port is going to pick only the 997 this is going to pick only the ta1 and this is going to pick only the message xml but like you saw the xml that is sitting inside the message box now does not have any kind of header so how does how how do the send ports when they actually send out the message get the headers enveloped across around the message that is where the party resolution comes into picture because we associated all these three send ports to the party if you remember let's go back to the contoso side now and see if you see the party properties three send ports are associated to this party which means that any message that is going through these three send ports will use the party will use the properties that have been set on the sender party because we have associated the three send ports with this sender party so any message that is going to send x12 will use the property set on this party similarly for the other two so now if i look on the pro pro properties for this party under is segment definition i have set the values for isa 5678 and under gsst i have set the values for gs star values gs128 so when the edi send pipeline 
sends the message out it is going to use the values set here to create the envelopes after the EDI send pipeline processes the messages it will copy the external message locally on this folder and the TA1 and 9 and 7 remotely to these shared folders. I hope this made sense and you were able to understand how to set up a two machine scenario to send an X12 message and receive acknowledgements. Thank you.